this is that entrance to the future bedroom and uh, since it is that I don't think I care if I have a, an indoor door an interior door on this uh, full time like when it is a bedroom so I think um, instead what I'm going to do actually I don't know if that window will fix it's open 33 I think what I'll do is make like a basically a insulated panel and if the window that I have fits into it, I'll put the uh, window in here as well so that it lets in light and maybe an opening for breeze. So that'll be here, well, may end up or could end up staying here right until the bedroom's done even. So as I'm working on the, the bedroom out here, because it wouldn't be rodent proof or uh, weatherproof, could leave that, um, this panel, false panel in here, build the bedroom and then take this in and if it happens next summer it'd be less of an issue anyway for weather anyway so see what fits here if I can get a window to fit great if not then I guess it'll be a solid panel without a window I kind of like the morning sun being able to come in here like I mentioned in one of the other videos sun rises in the east I think it's what like 11 o'clock right now and still providing some light in here it's just about to get high enough that the eve is shading, shading it completely, but still it's lighting. Anyway, let's see what I can fit here. I'm just tacking these in place with nails for now. Um, until I can scribe it. So basically what I did is put screw jacks on these posts and I raised them two and a half inches off the deck. I'm expecting about five inches of settling so the, all the logs in the wall of the cabin are going to shrink. I framed the gable and the entire roof with dimensional lumber on vertical so that none of that actually shrinks. The whole cabin, as it drops five inches, the entire cabin drops. The walls sink, the roof sinks with it. So what happens is that these vertical posts do not shrink. Anything vertical in the cabin itself will not shrink. Even if it does, it's minuscule. So window frames, door frames, they're all calculated based on about three quarters of an inch per foot of settling. Because the logs were green, and so not completely dry the average diameter of the wall logs is just over 12 inches the smallest small end is about nine and a half inches but only a couple of those the rest are 10 inches minimum so, um, dimension and the average or minimum butt end so the the big end is 14 inches and that goes all the way up to about 16 inches. So that's why I say the average middle of the log, middle of the wall basically, is about 12 inches. And they're mostly spruce and white pine. The bottom run is um, larch, because that's the most rot resistant wood that I have here. And uh, got some hemlock, there's a hemlock, but I might switch those out with some pine. Got some nice um, pine. Uh, logs here that I can mill white pine got some red pine I might even have some uh, Scots pine That I got from Terry originally and I have a few Couple well, I got maybe two that I harvested on this property, but there's a few over across the creek here. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm losing my point <laughs> train of thought the uh, Point is that these screw jacks. I've got them set two and a half inches off the deck so that I can scribe this and I'm going to scribe it two and a half inches so this will have a dip in it each top of each of these posts will have a two and a half inch cup a scribed uh, notch essentially which this cross beam will settle into so by taking two and a half inches off the top and having the uh, low point at two and a half inches I can raise those screw jacks to five inches so the cabin then starts off at five inches off the uh, current level that it is right now because I think it probably already settled about an inch so it would have been a, a like six inch settlement in total 
so five more inches of settling and like probably one inch per year maybe more in the beginning less than in the end start lowering those screw jacks because if i don't what happens is all of these don't shrink they hold up that and then it holds up these end walls and then the jet king post here going to the, the ridge beam that doesn't shrink either so basically what would happen is these would stay in place and the two end wall logs would well two end wall logs and the the um, two purlins in the ridge would stay in their existing position separate by up to five inches off of the third log in the road so yeah that's what i'm doing so i'm going to scribe this in set that in tomorrow i guess no yeah so that's going to give me my final position for these and for this but then what i need to do is lower those screw jacks again and i well i'll just do this now so I'll scribe those i'll just leave the jet the uh chain fall hoist in place and hopefully i can measure around those measure the king posts the post to the top of the purlin purlin supports and uh, cut those in so that they ha also have a gap and then I can raise everything back up so a little bit at a time these four posts raise them up to the full five inches and that'll raise these top ones up into place as well so they're gonna be suspended there basically I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm keeping them there now I didn't install the ceiling on the outside here for that reason so that I could get straps and hoists around these purlins and, and ridge that'll help me just support hold everything in place and then uh, jack everything tight and then get some probably timber screws or something or spikes I guess big uh, 6, 8 or 12 inch spikes spiral nails just to hold everything together proper way to do it would be to do, do some kind of timber frame joint so all the woods like lock together but I don't have the skill, the equipment, or the manpower to try that on my own. So, this is good for now. That'll stay open, of course. That's the stairway going down. We'll have rails going across here with pickets and across the end as well. So this will be the only egress or exit. This will be, the obviously, the door that goes out there, but not probably the main door. I think I talked about it in another video on this channel having using the forest kitchen the outdoor kitchen entrance probably more often than this one so that i can come in through the mud room the breezeway take shoes off there and coats and stuff instead of cluttering the front entrance here or the, the nicest entrance oh well, anyway that's it i'm gonna make some dinner get some water and dehydrate it so anyway if you want to watch the uh, everything i did this week leading up to this point then you can click on the link in the bottom right hand side of the screen or in the description below that'll take you to my main channel my self-reliance where you can watch a, a quieter and longer version of, of everything that i did this week anyway thanks for watching appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time take care